everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you the stroller that I keep my silicone babies in when I'm not uh, having them out and uh, getting them changed. This is a actually a pet stroller that um, I used to give my little dog Molly rides in, and she loved it. And uh, when she passed away, I thought, well, I'm going to keep it to put my babies in. And so uh, let me show you inside. It's really a neat um, stroller. I love it. It was really nice when I had Molly as well. But there they are all wrapped up inside. And it has this screen on the outside. <clears throat> so nothing can get inside. No critters or bugs or anything like that. And it has this zipper that goes all the way around the top. Like this. <clears throat> And then that comes down like that. And then there they are, right inside. And so that's where, uh, where I keep them. Um, it keeps, you know, the dust away and all the critters, like I said, if we do have, because um, we do happen to have mice um, in our house at times, especially in the cold winters here in the country, but this keeps them safe and sound. So I'm going to bring them um, over to the changing table. This is uh, Bethany and Lorelei, and I will meet you back over there. Okay, we're back at the changing table, and I am holding Bethany. And um, Bethany is actually, uh, that is her sculpt's name, and she is actually the prototype of the Bethany's that Kyla Janelle made. Uh, way back in, uh, well, she was made way back in 2017, so she's um, she's actually five years old. So she's a very, very uh, uh, old uh, sculpt and a very old silicone doll. And I wanted to hold her so that you could see how, um, how big she was. Um, let me show you her. Well, first of all, this is her artist proof picture. And um, like I said, she is the artist proof, meaning that she was the very first and original uh, Bethany doll that Kyla Janelle made um, before she made um, her other ones. And I don't know exactly how many she made, but I for sure know that it was under 10. I think it was between eight and uh, between eight and nine, something like that. And but uh, this Bethany here is the very, very, very first one um, that she did. And so I'm going to go ahead and put her down um, so that I can tell you and show you um, a little bit more about her. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. Um, I'm going to be uh, removing her little, uh, her little dress as well. And I'm going to be giving her a powdering because I haven't powdered her um, in quite a while. But um, uh, here's some details about her. So she's about, uh, my guess is she's about 20, 20 inches long. Um, she does wear a size newborn. And um, she is uh, proportioned perfectly to, uh, to a newborn baby, uh, meaning that her, her head size, um, the length of her limbs, um, her, her legs, um, her body, everything is proportioned proportioned perfectly to a human baby and um, Kyla, Kyla Janelle um, is a um, she's a, a you know a fantastic artist that pays attention to those uh, kinds of details um, so anyway um, Kyla had um, she so she sculpted this Bethany you know out of clay she sculpted her um, after she was sculpted, um, she, she poured the, the silicone, um, she painted her, she rooted her, and um, she also made special eyes for her Bethany doll. And these are actual um, human prosthetic eyes. Uh, they're made of glass, and um, they were made specifically for this Bethany sculpt. And so... Um, I am just really um, thrilled to have Bethany in my collection. And so let me go ahead and um, show you some details. I'm going to take her little slip off. Um, I made this slip for my babies way back when, <laughs> back in the old days when I, when I had time to sew. And uh, 
So let me go ahead and take this off. I used it as a, a slip and a dress. So yeah. There she is. And her silicone, um, you know, back back in those days, they didn't have the... Um, oh, I, 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 I really haven't kept up with, you know, the uh, the weight of silicone, but she uh, this is the, um, the 20, the silicone 20 that she's made from. She also has um, rooted eyebrows, and she has rooted eyelashes, and they're made from the same hair um, that she was... Her hair, this hair is rooted with. So there she is, and um, what I think I'll do is I'm going to take the camera off of the um, tripod so that you can get a closer look at little Bethany. Okay, so there she is. There's her little face, and there's her, her gorgeous um, blue eyes. Gorgeous, gorgeous blue eyes. And there's her hair. And like I said, she does need to be um, she does need to be powdered. So I'm going to be doing that in just a moment. But um, like I said, she is the original sculpt, and she's the prototype. So um, you know what what they do is any flaws or any um, I don't know changes that they want to make once they get the prototype, um, they go ahead and do that in the next um, sculpts that they do. But there's her little feet little nails and they're very very flexible let me show you here you know she's got separated toes so there she is so I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera uh, back on the tripod and um, I'll be right back so another thing that's really interesting about the sculpts that were made uh, way, ba way back uh, when, um, they, they don't have an attached head. They have what is called a ball jointed neck. And um, so what they do is they have a ball joint that's um, at the neckline and then the head is put on top of that and it, uh, it never comes off, you know. Of course you'd have to be careful, um, you know, I, I, I assume that it would come off if you're really rough, you know, but um, so far I haven't had any issues with her neck. And um, so, yeah, so this is a ball jointed neck versus uh, what we have nowadays, uh, which is the, um, you know, the attached, the attached um, head to the neck. So um, that's one big difference between, um, you know, this doll and the dolls that were made, that, that were, that are made uh, in these days. Uh, the other difference being they've um, come a long ways with the silicone. But um, I, I haven't ever, um, you know, uh, felt the silicone that is made today, so I don't know the difference in the touch or the feel of the silicones, but um, I'm really happy with this silicone. It's like uh, not too soft, not too you know she does you know she's very um she's very squishy um also she's got um she's got a tongue in there and she, and she's got a uh kind of put like a roof a roof um uh, not sure what you call that the top of the mouth you know so uh she really really made this uh, little girl with a lot of detail but she definitely um <clears throat> she does need to be powdered you know at times and uh, I like to powder my silicones anyway, you know, like if I'm, I'm about to dress them because it sure makes dressing, dressing them so much easier. <clears throat> so yeah, I just, um, you know, I wanted to share my silicones with everyone today. And uh, my, um, my sweet friend, Claudia, uh, she had asked to see my silicones, you know, because I mentioned it in one of my videos that I did um, recently. I, you know, I said, oh, I'm going to have to bring my silicones on sometime. And then um, Claudia, uh, in her comments, she said she'd love to see my silicones. So I thought it'd be fun to, um, to bring them both on. So yeah, we'll get her powdered up and then um, I'll show you the outfit that I'm going to put her into. I'm going to turn her over as well so that you can see um, her back and you know what she looks like but yeah she is uh, she's anatomically correct of course 
I think that's the uh, the uniqueness about well, one of the unique things about having a silicone is a sil silicone <clears throat> is that they are anatomically correct, and uh, that makes it kind of fun. So let me go ahead and turn her over. She feels so nice and smooth, and um, you know, I never, I don't have any of that uh, that special. Uh, silicone powder, but what I do use is the um, the cornstarch, that the pure cornstarch that has the uh, baby powder fragrance, and I've never had any trouble, any issues um, <clears throat> the whole time that I've owned these silicone babies. And like I said, the, you know they're five years old, so um, so far so good. Okay, let's turn her over this way. You can see her back. Let's see. Yeah, get her twisted around here. I'll show you a little peek of her her bum. There it is. Super, super cute. Um, very, very cute. I'll go ahead and since I got her undressed here, I'll go ahead and give her a powder. But yeah, that's what her back looks like. As you can see, she's very flexible. Um, she's she's very heavy. Um, she is nine pounds and two ounces. That's how um, that's how heavy she is. And uh, my baby boy was a nine pounder, so I can't even imagine. Um, this girl is heavy. <laughs> I can't even imagine um, <clears throat> carrying a nine pound baby at my height. I'm only five feet tall, and um, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> to tell you the truth. I forgot to show you her birth certificate and this is her birth certificate and uh, all her details there's the date she was born February 27th of uh, 2017 so yeah and I am just really proud to have her as, as part of my collection so this is the outfit that I'm going to put her in today it's a sleeper, and I want to um, keep my uh, the babe my silicones in sleeper type outfits, um, just because that you know I just wrap them up in a blanket is how I store them. So I think that sleeper is really appropriate. But I just thought this would be a cute outfit um, for Bethany. And then underneath that, she's going to be wearing this little lamb onesie. I've had this for such a long time. Um, this is a size newborn. It's actually by, I was just noticing this by Circo, and I don't even know uh, if that brand exists anymore. Um, but let's go ahead and get this on her. Um, I hope that you're enjoying uh, hearing about um, Bethany and um, Kyla Janelle and, you know, the artistry that goes into making these dolls. She has a Facebook page, uh, Kyla Janelle does, and uh, I, I don't know if she still has, um, she, she posted photos, her, her progress photos of one of her silicones. I forget which one. I don't remember if it was Bethany or if it was my uh, other one, Lorelei. But um, yeah, and I don't even know if she has an, a Facebook page anymore. I do know that she started um, making vinyl kits, vinyl dolls. Um, she got out of the silicone and started making vinyl. So, But I haven't kept up with Kyla Janelle, so I don't know, uh, you know, what specifically that, uh, you know, what she's doing these days. But um, I know that when I, whenever I got Bethany, um, I had, you know, Bethany and Lorelei, uh, I had fun going to her um, Facebook page and looking at all the photos. So yeah, this is a big girl. She's about, uh, tw what did I say, 20, 20, 20 inches maybe? Um, I'm thinking 20 or 21 inches, something like that. And uh, this is, a, like I said, a newborn size onesie. So you can see that it fits her really, really well. Yes, it does. Let's go ahead and, um, oh, you know, I, was, I always like to put these little socks on um, underneath. Uh, if if it, they're going to be wearing a footed PJ or a fitted outfit, because it uh, it fills in the footed part. 
It always seems like the fitted part of the PJs or whatever, the outfit is always so big, you know. So, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get this outfit on her. And then I will be bringing up Lorelei. So, yeah, this has been fun. I haven't, um, I haven't had these girls out in such a long time. And it's kind of fun to get them out and, um, you know, get them changed. I usually use a plastic bag. Let me let me do that. Um, my trick, I have a trick to, that I use um, with my silicones. I take a plastic, uh, like a sandwich bag. I put it over their hand, over their arm, and then I kind of fold it down, make sure that all her fingers are facing the right way. <clears throat> and then I pop her arm through the sleeve and it just works. Did you see how fast that was? <laughs> that is fast and you just pull off the bag yes you do and I usually um, also I put a little bit of powder in the bag just so that it'll um, slide off easier just do that yeah yeah I have my little I have my little tricks of the trades and it works, this is, um, works really well for me. I mean, because the bag, you know, covers up the, um, uh, it slips over, uh, the arm as well as the hand. And so it just, uh, you know, makes it really, uh, quick to put on long sleeves and stuff. So yeah, it just pulls right off. So I thought this would be a cute outfit for her. And, um, I'm going to be bringing Lorelei on. And uh, I'm having fun too. I haven't shared my silicones. Um, for those of you who are new, um, you know, you get to be introduced to Bethany and Lorelai. And for my um, for my Dolly friends that have been with me for a long time, you'll get to see them again. Okay, so there she is, you guys. She's all dressed up and all ready to be all wrapped back up again. And um, stored in uh, perfect condition. I like to, uh, her eyebrows, very gently um, uh, brush her eyebrows. I have to be really careful with her hair too because it's not glued on the inside. So, okay, I'm gonna go get Lorelei and I will be right back. So this is Lorelei and she is absolutely precious. Um, she's my little sleeper and um, she has a uh, rooted eyebrows and rooted eyelashes as well. She also has a ball jointed neck and um, I don't know if you can tell or not by the looks of the silicone or um, say, say the veining, the painting, but um, by the time that uh, Kyla started doing the Lorelei sculpt, um, she had done several Bethany's and uh, so she was in really good practice with working with silicone. But um, just wanted to give you some uh, close-ups of her tummy and her her little feet. And there's her little feet. So, so cute. So yeah, let me go ahead and put, uh, uh, put the camera back on the tripod and uh, I will get to changing her. Okay, so we're back with Lorelei. And uh, one thing that I forgot to mention uh, when I had Bethany up here was that uh, neither uh, Lorelei nor Bethany, um, they don't have armatures. And so they're very, very floppy. Um, their arms basically stay uh, in one position, which is the position that um, they're in right now. And, um, and I'm fine with that too. Um, I think armatures would be a really neat um, thing to have uh, with the silicone because it would make them uh, more poseable, but um, I'm perfectly happy with my two silicones. And um, that was another point that I wanted to make was that, the, you know, the reason that I haven't purchased any more silicones is because I'm just so totally happy with these, even though they're, you know, they're both uh, five years old. Oh, and speaking of that, uh, yeah, um, I got off track there. Yeah, they're they're both five years old, but I'm really really happy with them, and so I wasn't I didn't really want to get any more silicones. But 
Um, I wanted to show you her um, her COA. And then she's Lorelei number five. And again, I believe that uh, Kyla made about uh, nine or ten of uh, Lorelei's before she um, broke the mold. But yeah, Lorelei's a little bit smaller. She's um, she's eight pounds and uh, eleven ounces, and she was born that same year on July the twenty second of 20, um, 2017. So yeah, she was. Um, she was busy that year. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to get her powdered up a little bit. And, um, gosh, I hope you're enjoying seeing um, my silicones. Um, she also, Lorelei, has a ball-jointed neck as well. Um, and so, what a ball-jointed neck does is it makes, um, it makes her so that she can put her head in any position. Know, just twists around the, the ball joint so and she's heavy too you know I mean she's um you know a big girl too but uh, not quite as big as Bethany so I'm gonna go ahead and turn her over I'm a little sleeper you can see how um, wiggly she is now when Kyla made her um, she actually gave her like a backbone and um, shoulder blades, whereas when she made Bethany, um, she didn't do that. So Bethany was her her trial silicone. From what I'm, you know, I haven't actually talked to her, and you know, but I'm just guessing that, uh, you know, Bethany was her very first, so she probably did a lot of experimenting. And here's her little her little bottom. We can go ahead and powder that cute little bottom. So yeah, here it is. And what's really cute about um, this is that she, um, when she painted them, she made their bottoms like a little rosy cheeks. <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. So go ahead and turn her around. You can see... Um, you can see the uh, where the neckline is right there. There we go. Yeah. And these these silicones, um, this type of silicone, I, I, um, once you um, powder it, it feels so super smooth, and um, they're very they're very squishy. They're very squishy and very heavy. Um, feels like uh, holding a real baby when you hold these two. Go ahead and comb her hair, and then. I'll show you the outfit that we're going to put her into. So she's going to be wearing this um, pretty sparkly onesie. There's little um, gold sparkle uh, dots all over with uh, light pink dots as well. And then the outfit is going to be this top. It's a little PJ's outfit. It says made with love in shiny gold. It's got um, a pretty rickrack type of um, neckline and side snaps. And then the bottoms have little sparkly hearts, little feet. And then I'm also going to be putting these uh, nice white fluffy um, booties on her underneath. So yeah, let's go ahead and get her all changed up. And she's a cutie patootie, I'll tell you what. she. She is, um, she, she's more petite, you know, she's more petite than, uh, than Bethany, who's a little bit bigger. Um, this is more of a, I would say a newborn size, where Bethany is newborn size, but she's on the edge, you know. Oops, I forgot about my little trick. It's been a long time since I've dressed these little girls. As I'm struggling to try to get her hand through, I just thought, oh, where's my plastic bag? Let's go ahead and get her all. I mean, even with short sleeves, you know, it's so much easier this way than trying to struggle. And uh, there we go. Let's take that off. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a cutie patootie and uh, my little, she's my little delicate one. She's my little, uh, my little sleeper. 
Bethany, she's my wide-eyed and uh, bushy-tailed baby, and she stays awake and, you know, keeps track of what's going on while Beth, uh, while Laura Lee sleeps peacefully. <laughs> That's just how they do it. It is. So I hope you all are having a good day today. How are you all doing? Um, I'm hearing a lot better today. Uh, in my video yesterday, I talked about how my ears were plugged up, and um, I was able to do some more work on them um, this morning, and uh, I'm almost at 100%. So uh, I have one ear that's at 100% and one ear that's at about 80 <laughs> So um, anyway, we'll get there. We will get there, but I can hear myself talk, and um, you know, it's a much, much better for me today than I was uh, uh, yesterday when I was talking, and I, uh, you know, I couldn't hardly hear myself talk. That is a strange feeling, or hearing my voice in the, you know, way in the background like that. That is bizarre. Go ahead and put these on, my little, little delicate one. I thought that this onesie would go really good with, uh, because it's all sparkly like that. You know, it's polka dots and hearts and all kinds of fun stuff. Pick her up and get the back of this done. See, see, this is a this is a um, a newborn size, and uh, it's a little bit loose around the. Uh, around the waistline because she's she's just a little delicate thing yes she is this is by uh, Ger Gerber's organic so let me get my little plastic bag yeah our weather has really changed um, today it's supposed to be if you can believe this it's supposed to be at 70 degrees today uh, 70 72 something like that um, Versus we've had, we've been in the 40s, in the 40s and, uh, you know, low, low 50s. And that was just yesterday. So um, our weather is just, uh, the temps are really uh, going haywire here. <laughs> they just really are. But um, I know that I'm not alone in that because um, everyone is talking about how, how crazy uh, their weather is as well, whether it's, uh, you know, East Coast, West Coast, or whatever coast, um, they're experiencing the same type of weather. But yeah, it was nice. I didn't even wear, I wore my, uh, this is a long sleeve um, turtleneck. I, I wore this, you know, just walking from the, from the mobile to the farmhouse, and I didn't get cold one bit, and it was um, 50 something or 49 or 50 something I think it was and uh, so it was no problemo you know to get here didn't have to bundle all up like I normally do it's always nice you know nice change of pace yeah so this is really cute on her yeah the right size a little bit big but um, you know when, when you when the we're wearing PJs it doesn't matter if they're a little bit big so there she is there she is I'm gonna go ahead and bring Bethany back up and I'm gonna put them side by side so that you can see the difference and I'll be right back so here is Bethany on the left and Lorelei on the right and they are side by side so that you can see the difference. Um, you can't really tell right here um, how much uh, bigger that Bethany is, but once you get down to where the length of their legs are, you can see um, that Bethany's are a little bit longer than Lorelei's. And so I would say that Lorelei could, uh, maybe could fit into a, a large preemie size and that Bethany could probably fit into a, a small a zero to three month. But uh, right now I have them both uh, wearing the newborn size. So anyway, everyone, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I've had so much fun bringing the, the girls out and um, telling you about their details and everything. If you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments. I um, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And until we meet again. Bye-bye from me, Bethany, and 
Lorelai.